The electric car. The market is at a crossroads because Tesla have appended the sector and raised the bar for creativity. While some observers see a promising future for the business, others are pessimistic. As 2023 approaches, it remains to be seen if Tesla's stock will reach unprecedented levels. I believe you are quite aware of my thoughts regarding Tesla's customer. Centered strategy, effective manufacturing capacities with a visionary like Elon at the helm. There is no way but up with a dependable battery supply chain and an extensive supercharger network. Join us as we dive into the data, evaluate market trends, and predict the future of Tesla stock. Will it see a 100% growth in 2023 gap, either large or narrow, between Tesla and its competitors prepare to learn more about the possibilities of investing in the top electric vehicle company in the world? However, before we go, hit the like and subscribe buttons. Let's take a look at the markets. They are down, particularly this one, but Tesla is up. If the markets had been flat, today would have been a great day for Tesla. It appears that the bears are a little confused because the stock of Tesla increased during after hours. The biggest news of the day is that all Tesla SUVs are now eligible for the full 7500 EV tax credit. The fact that five-seater Tesla Model Ys are now considered SUVs due to a definition change brought about by the aforementioned census is interesting because it shows that Toyota isn't crying despite being so far behind that they have a chance to catch up. The Model Y is currently selling so well that fewer people are choosing to purchase the Model 3 as a result of the amended 7500 tax credit. I anticipate certain price increases that will also help boost demand for Model 3 vehicles. Both Tesla bulls and bears are probably going to increase their year profit projections, with the majority of bulls doing so. The subsequent the U.S. Treasury Department has revised its classifications for vehicles. The scope of what is eligible for the tax credit has been expanded with the reclassification of the five-seat Tesla Model Y as an SUV. The Model Y was formerly categorized as a sedan which disqualified it from the EV tax credit because its price surpassed $55,000. Limits set down in regulatory regulations for cars Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, was reportedly irritated by the previous classification. The Verge reports that the EV tax credit is a component of the Biden administration's Inflation Reduction Act, which offers substantial rebates for electric vehicles and home improvements to encourage consumers to move away from fossil fuels. Since the Chinese New Year was not observed in January, Tesla's January sales of 66,000 vehicles, including electric vehicles built in China, represented a rise of 18% month over month and 10% year over year. Nevertheless, this is a better result in terms of luxury than it would seem. Here are the figures for January Tesla sales in Europe, which you can see are significantly higher than last year. This is encouraging because it shows that delivery waves are becoming more consistent, which will eventually boost Tesla's operating profits as far as Tesla bull is concerned. Poor income growth is not a good sign for competing businesses. Gary Black worries that our recession won't last. While it's true that the unemployment rate in January was at a 50-year low and that reduced interest rates are probably harmful for the economy overall, there is one silver lining. More individuals are now employed and able to purchase Teslas. Gary Black for a very long time, a backer of Tesla, has stated that investors are unlikely to heed Elon Musk's recent warning about a possible recession in the U.S. economy, even though he has been successful in manufacturing electric automobiles. Although Musk is viewed as a brilliant engineer, a visionary on climate change, and a pioneer in the search of a sustainable society, Black, the managing partner of Future Fund, noted that he is not thought of as an economic forecaster by despite Elon Musk's warning about a potential recession in the U.S. economy. Investors during Tesla's fourth quarter earnings call discussed the possibility of a severe recession, noting that it could have a positive impact on Tesla's stock price by reducing the company's input costs through this inflation. Gary Black thinks Musk's economic forecasts won't likely have an impact on investors. Black claims that even in the unlikely event of a recession, it would probably be brief due to the Federal Reserve's ability to lower interest rates. The central bank increased rates last year, from almost zero to roughly 4.5%, but many investors believe that it will start lowering rates in 2023 to encourage economic growth. Like many others, Black thinks that the Fed's capacity to change interest rates will keep a serious recession from ever occurring. Therefore, investors are not buying into the notion that one would occur. Project Highland presents yet another enormous opportunity for Tesla this year, 
and has the ability to significantly impact the stock's trajectory in 2023. The much-awaited next-generation platform from Tesla and the possible launch of a $25,000 model based on it have attracted a lot of attention. But the company is also working on a project called Highland, which is anticipated to arrive before the previously mentioned updates. It's important to note that Project Thailand is an evolution of the current Model 3, not a completely new Tesla vehicle, which may have implications for the Model Y. While the Model 3 was Tesla's first successful vehicle and sold incredibly well. However, the Model 3 sold only 919,000 units, despite being the second best-selling electric vehicle and significantly outperforming any other electric vehicles sold throughout the year. In order to sustain interest, the Model 3, which has been on the market for five years, needs an update, which Project Highland aims to provide. One of the key objectives is to reduce production costs, which could potentially result in a price reduction. In 2022, the bottle, I sold 35,000 units in the UK and was the third best-selling car across all fuel types. Project Thailand will initially focus on cars made at Tesla's Shanghai plant, which will halt production until the end of February in order to retool but the modifications will also be applied to cars made in Fremont, California. Regarding the effect of cost-cutting measures on Tesla's German production plants, there is currently no information available. Reducing the amount of components inside the car is one of the strategies being used, but there will also be changes made to the outside. Test mules for the Tesla Model 3 have been spotted in public, and spy shots of them show the car with its front and rear camouflage. This has sparked rumors that a big portion of the Project Highland update will emphasize the package of front and rear sensors. Additionally, a new look for the front and rear of the car is expected. If Tesla can pull off this update and lower the price, it will solidify its reputation as a company that understands the market and is beginning to appeal to a wider audience. The stock price will undoubtedly reflect this positive development. Notice that Tesla is ranked second, right behind Genesis in the most recent list of popular brands according to Consumer Reports. While I don't usually trust Consumer Reports, I have been watching some of the older movies and even they seem to concur that Tesla is popular. It's significant when a group that has such overt prejudice against you acknowledges it. It's a great time to be a Tesla fan with all the positive developments in the company despite the markets being down. Tesla stock has remained strong, especially with the recent news that all Tesla SUVs are now eligible for the full 7500 EV tax credit. Oh, yes, here, yes, you're doing well. Today has been nothing but good news for Tesla. As far as anyone could tell, Elon had already agreed the terms with the Saudis and had the necessary funds on hand. With the new tax change, we can anticipate some price increases for the Model 3 as well as a huge victory for the corporation in the recent jury verdict in the Tesla 420 take the private lawsuit. The rumored Project Highland and updated Model 3 vehicle are also creating a lot of excitement. With the ability to add full self-driving and still get the tax credit, it's shaping up to be an exciting time for the electric vehicle industry. So stay tuned and keep an eye on the markets. Less people choose the more affordable Model Y. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the future one.